If I were to ever move to the United Kingdom, where would it be? That's what I ask myself all the time because I've seen so many cities and, and just pictures and shows and movies from the large cities to the more quaint towns around the United Kingdom. And myself having traveled to all around the British Isles other than Wales. Someday, Wales, I'll get to you. But everywhere I've been is just magical to me. It's beautiful, fun, rich in history, rich in culture. Love the people there. Super nice. Very, very nice. Very friendly. So I found this video, which is 10 best places to live in the United Kingdom. Let's just jump into it. Add anything you can to it. Say yay or nay. Is this list good, bad? What would you add onto this list and what would you take off? Where would I miss? Like, where would be a great place? Do you know any Americans that go over, move over to the United Kingdom? Because if I had to ever move out of the United States, it would definitely be to somewhere in the United Kingdom. So once again, here we go. Let's, let's figure it out. Where would I move to? 10 best places to live in the United Kingdom. The United yes. Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is a country that any decent person loves to live. Also known as Britain, Great Britain or the UK, the country is structured in such a way that you can enjoy a meaningful life in any of its cities. Even then, the UK cities outclass themselves in terms of cost and standard of living and happiness. On these basis, we present the 10 best places to live in the United Kingdom. Real quick, right here, the HMS Belfast. When I was in London a few years ago, uh, we lost a family member in the HMS Belfast for a solid 20 minutes. We could not find them. I think we we're doing circles. Yeah, good times, good times. 10. Plymouth. Oh, a city you right. should consider for a living in the United Kingdom is Plymouth. This is a waterfront city on the south coast of Devon, England. It is located approximately 60 kilometers southwest of Exeter and 310 kilometers west southwest of London. The average right. salary of £27,502 in Plymouth is not bad. However, be prepared to spend some £1,762 of that on commuting and £10,512 on rent. And it costs an average of £223,965 to acquire your own property. Thus, the 261,400 residents of Plymouth may report a lower level of satisfaction with their day-to-day -day living. Hmm. Nevertheless, they are happier to be living in a crime-free city. For the sake, I've heard of Plymouth many times, be it TV shows and just word of mouth, probably on a lot of these videos, but Plymouth uh, comes up a lot for whatever reason. But the population of about a quarter of a million people reminds me of Anaheim here, where I'm close to. Anaheim is the city where Disneyland, the original Disneyland, is located. About the same, like 250 to 300,000 people, so about the same population. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but it's just interesting to me. Safety of lives and property that living in Plymouth guarantee, we consider it one of the 10 best places to live in the United Kingdom. Nine. I like it. Salisbury. Yeah. This oh. is Salisbury. It is a cathedral city with a population of 40,302. Okay. Salisbury is located at the confluence of the rivers Avon, Bourne and Nadder. The city in the southeast of Wiltshire, England, is approximately 20 miles from Southampton and 30 miles from Bath. If you're considering living in the United Kingdom, this city near the edge of Salisbury Plain is worthy of your consideration. With an average salary of £26,502, all those living in this city should be happy. Of course, £1,184 of that amount will go for accommodation. Earning that much and spending that less, residents of Salisbury should be among the happiest. Glasgow, yes. Um, for the salary, I think this is about three years old, the video, so I'm sure quite a bit has changed. And I've heard recently, I, I guess as of post-COVID, prices have skyrocketed and a lot of things are kind of out of whack. Inflation is crazy. Housing's pretty wild. So far, both those cities look very nice. So let's move on to Glasgow. Eight, Glasgow. Our search- Did I say that correctly? For the best places to live in the UK takes us to Scotland. There we find Glasgow, the largest city and a port on the Clyde in West Central Scotland. This city, which is one of the greatest shipbuilding centres, is home to over 801,000 Glaswegians, many of whom speak the most Gaelic, especially outside of the highlands and islands. The city should score even higher if population adds to a city's happiness, because it is the third most populated. The average salary in Huge. Glasgow is £29,161, while some £1,929 is expected to be spent commuting. 
you could buy a home with an average of £126,200, while rent or mortgage will continue to gulp £9,048. When I was very young, we went to Glasgow for my sister's tournament. She was in Irish dancing, and I believe the worlds were there. I don't know if I'm getting the cities incorrect, but it was like the Armadillo or something like that the building was called. To Cambridge, here we go, to Cambridge. So far, any of these, I would be thrilled. Seven, Cambridge. Famous for its university, oh, Cambridge yeah. is one of the best places to live in the UK, for obvious reasons. Interestingly, the influx of academics into the city hasn't raised the cost of living disproportionately. If anything, it only increases the happiness level of the residents of the top UK centre for culture, traditions, education and job opportunities. The average cost of living in this prosperous city is about £2,000 per month. All right. Depending on the side of the city where you live, the average monthly rent is £1,100. Compared with the opportunities that abound in the city, the transportation and utility costs are also reasonable. Beautiful. Cambridge is such a place you can live to find inspiration to advance your career. 6. Wolverhampton City Are you a business-oriented person? Do also, he sounds like a city from a book or a town from a book. Do you want to live among the industrialists and have a taste of quality life at a minimal cost? Sure. Wolverhampton, situated in the West Midlands of England, may be your next home. Your family can be added to the 254,700 plus residents of this wow. blossoming city. According to history, Wolverhampton was a part of Staffordshire, but the city has since the Industrial Revolution grown to become a major centre for coal mining, lock making, oh. steel production and cars and motorcycle manufacture. Wool mills and engineering industries continue to thrive in this city with the average salary of £25,136. Commuting costs just £1,768. You can live in a comfortable apartment if you can afford £6,852 as rent or buy your own home with £176,193. Wolverhampton is the first city in the UK to have automatic traffic lights. It is one of the best cities to live there. That makes sense because it's industrial. It's kind of pushing the bounds on the industrial revolution of the UK, I guess, at the time. But I don't know about that one. That one looks a lot more um, not as cozy and peaceful to me. You know, that that's what I uh, I like. I know they said where is that, but I, I need to look up where that was actually at on Google Maps. Maybe after after this video, I'll dive into the, some of these places. Five. York. York. All right. Yes. You can also move to the historic walled city of York in North East England at the confluence of Foss and Ouse rivers in North Yorkshire. You have a lot to learn about its heritage and major political development in England, in this city founded by the ancient Romans over 2,000 years ago. Wow. The 200,000 residents in York are among the happiest people in the United Kingdom. You could be making an average of £27,300 annually, which is enough to make you happy. Even if you have to spend £1,622 on commuting and £10,128 on rent or mortgage, hmm. you can still happily buy a home for £225,352. Life is generally satisfying in York and the wall of the city guarantees the safety of life and property. 4. Aberdeen This is one of Scotland's Aberdeen. 32 local government council areas, the third most populous city in Scotland and the United Kingdom's number 39 among the most populous built-up areas. This is the city of Aberdeen. With a population of some 227,100, Aberdeen is one of the best places to live in the United Kingdom if you care about safety. Yeah, I care about safety. I think everyone does. But Aberdeen, why is that popping up in my head? Why is it so familiar? I can't place why I know Aberdeen. I think there's a lot of significance about Aberdeen. And I just, I'm just drawing a blank, so I'm sorry, but why am I thinking of Aberdeen? The governing body of this city, the Aberdeen City Council, with its 45 councillors, ensures that the city's cost of living is controlled. Hmm. So the commuting cost is roughly £1,929, while property price averages £175,000. If you are going for rent or mortgage, you should be looking to £9,132. You get all of that covered with an average salary of £30,362. No wonder the residents in this city are happier than those in many other cities in the United Kingdom. 3. Edinburgh 
Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland, has frequently made lists of the best places to live and work in the United Kingdom. Yeah. The city, located in the Lothian region, south side of the Firth of Forth, is dubbed the jewel in Scotland's crown for good reasons. Edinburgh is such a beautiful and cosmopolitan city, endowed with many wonderful attractions, with an immediately favourable impression. Both the tourists and residents have never been tired of admiring the breathtaking beauty their lives revolve around in the burial place of Adam Smith, the father of economics, which is economically viable. Yeah, that's crazy. I never knew that. Adam Smith never knew that. At one point, I was thinking of majoring uh, in college, university in economics, and I almost bought his book, this fat book about economics. Just like I would love to live here, though. I, I This is another place that I went to when I was younger. And of course, as a little boy, running around the castle, seeing the crown jewels there, seeing their massive cannon that they have there. I think there's it's one of two. And I believe someone said in previous comments that they've moved it ever since, or they're fixing it up, renovating it, something like that. But it's not in, at the castle anymore. But I loved, loved this place. It's a vibrant centre for commerce and finance with a visible government presence. Accommodation and transportation average £1,644 and £1,700 respectively here. 2. Oxford. Oxford. That is beautiful. Where is, where is Oxford? It looks like, uh, when you see pictures of it, it always looks like it's in this huge city. So it kind of caught me off guard that there's just these beautiful rolling green hills all around it. England, which is northwest of London and the home of the world-renowned Oxford University, oh, yeah. has for centuries been one of the best places to live in the UK. Mm -hmm. Though relatively small in size, it packs a punch mm. with its diverse culture and tradition of excellence radiating in its neighbourhoods. The city is a reflection of distinguishing features of the United Kingdom. Examples are the cosy cafes of Bohemian Jericho and affluent streets of leafy family favourite Headington. Granted, you spend more living in Oxford than many cities in the United Kingdom and even Europe, it is one of the best places to live when you consider the economic opportunities, amenities and comfort. 1. Swindon If you have ever been to Swindon as a tourist, you would love to make the city your home that contests as the best city in the country. Oh. This large town that you would find in the ceremonial county of Wiltshire has a population of 209,200. Located in southwest England, 56 kilometres to the west of Bristol and the same distance east to Reading. Swindon is a city with a high job satisfaction rating. Finding a good job paying an average of £30,248 a month is a good reason to consider this city one of the best cities to live in the United Kingdom. What is more? You spend relatively less on commuting, £1,762, and rent, £8,892. Buying a home of two to five bedrooms for as low as £248,154 is another good reason to live in Swindon. Those living in Swindon are very happy and satisfied with their lives. That can be your lot if you move there. And that concludes the list, 10 best places to live in the United Kingdom. I, I'm curious to see what you have to say about this list, what you would add, what you would take away and the reasons why, because my family is uh, and myself gearing up to go back to the United Kingdom, and we're really trying to figure out where to go around, because it's, it's there's so much to see. There's so many beautiful places here. So I will leave it off here. I would like to know your thoughts on this, the list, and we'll go from there. If I were to ever move to the United Kingdom, where should I move? Where would I move? It does not have to be on this list, or maybe you would be like, yeah, that, that is a really good option, or hey, I've lived here before, so on and so forth. So thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time in my quest to find a place in the United Kingdom where I could maybe, you know, live someday. I don't know. When I have the money, if I ever get it. So I'll go back to my roots. Thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day. I'll see you next video.